Hey, this is Video Bob. This is a little bit of a different video than some of my subscribers are used to. You know, a lot of the things I used to do on this channel were just reviews of different items that I liked, sometimes luxury items, which is how we started doing cars and things. So the subscribers to my channel would normally see me talk about a Rolls Royce or some other kind of custom car. But today we're talking about some fine luxury items and people that are interested in things like the Rolls Royce Phantom are probably going to be interested in these things, fine watches and fine writing instruments. And of course, I'm talking about Mont Blanc. Now, I've been a fan of the Mont Blanc for a long time. Uh, it's spelled Mont Blanc, but uh, it's supposed to be pronounced Mont Blanc is one word. And, uh, you know, probably they're one of their most famous pens, and they don't like you to call it a pen. They like to call it a writing instrument, but it is the Meisterstuck, you know. And, you know, you have the Snowcat Mountain on the end. Now, this is one of the most popular pens, probably the most faked pen. You probably pick up a fake one of these for 10 or 15 bucks. Now, this one is in poor shape. I've had this pen over 15 years, and I carried it in my pocket and used it for many years. So, you know, looking at it, you know, up close, it's it's pretty rough. You know, it needs to be polished. Um, but it's, it's a good little pen. Now, I actually picked up a few years back the miniature version of this. You can see how much smaller it is, but just because it fit into my little pocket easier and it was easier to carry. And I carried both of these for many years, over 10 years. And we're not going to talk about these because there's a lot of videos about these. But I will tell you just real quickly, uh, you know, there's a serial number up there uh, that you can find. You have to use a loop, you know, a little magnifying glass to see it. Um, but even the, some of the fakes now, uh, this being the most popular pen, and it was available in multiple styles. I have always liked what's called the twist ballpoint pen, but you could also get it in the roller ball, which would have a cap that would come off, and then also the fountain pen. I've always preferred what they call the twist. This is also a twist. And this thing has the cutest little, um, look at this itty bitty little cartridge that goes in there. It's, it's just this little cartridge. Uh, I think that's so cute. And I always prefer to use the blue ink because the black, well, black blends in with the text on the page and you wanna, you know, really make an impact on your signature, so I use the bright blue ink. Thing about that is uh, sometimes I, I would get the red ink, but don't use red ink, I'll tell you why, because banks and things, they don't like it because it doesn't show up very well when it's photocopied. So uh, red has its place for certain things, you know, like for instance, if you're gonna sign uh, like a s certificate of authenticity or something like that. Something where you don't want the signature photocopied. But red doesn't photocopy well, so it's not a good idea to use the, the red ink. But anyway, that's a for a different subject. Speaking of red, I had bought this uh, recently. It's called the Pix series. And it's one of the cheaper pens you can get. And it comes in a multitude of colors. Now, of course, I got it because it's red. But, uh, you know, I love red. Uh, but it's a simple twist pen, and, and this is one of the cheaper pens. I mean, these things are about 200 bucks, and you're saying, hey, wow, 200 bucks for a pen. Well, these things, you know, you could spend uh, 600 bucks or whatever on one of these. This is actually not that expensive of a pen either, uh, but like I said, there's a gazillion versions of this, but this one I picked up just because it's a small, lightweight, little twist. It's great for carrying around. If you lose it or break it, it's not going to kill you, you know, it's only 200 bucks. And uh, it uses just the regular um, ballpoint cartridge. And let me tell you, these cartridges last me like a year uh, or, or more. You know, they, they don't dry out. Uh, they last a really long time. And unless you're sitting around writing letters, well, you know, all I ever do is sign my name. That's it. And maybe sometimes take a note. Uh, the ink is great on these, by the way. Like a, a little trick I've always done, like for instance, when I check into a hotel, I will write my room number like on a little, real tiny on my hand or something, just because I'll be like, <laughs> some of, I, that's my Palm Pilot, for any of those, if you remember those, that's my Palm Pilot. <laughs> anyway, um, so I, I wanted to talk uh, about, and we're gonna get to the Mar Marilyn Monroe in just a second. This one here is called the, the Star Walker. Now, this was been this has been my go-to pen that I've been carrying around for the last couple of years. Very heavy. The, the end of it is like machined metal, right? And it's got a floating cap, a floating snow cap that's suspended 
in plastic. And it's got the red line on it. Oh, when I saw that, I had to have it. I was like, oh, look at the black line, the black with the red line. Oh my God. And this is a, a heavy duty pen. Now these have gone up considerably in value. Back when I bought it, I think it was about 600 bucks. And now they're selling for over a thousand. Now this one's pretty beat up. I mean, it's the paint chipped on it and stuff. I mean, I've carried this pen with me every single day for a couple of years. So, and, that, and again, it's a twist, you know, do the twist. Now, this pen and this pen. Now, I don't have the boxes to my other Meister's Tux anymore. But when I bought the Star, Star Walker. So here's the box that it came in, right? It has that serial number on there, right? You'll notice these markings here talking about its recyclability and other things like that. You open it up and because uh, this is going to be important, right? So you, you get you get this little booklet here service guide to writing instruments all right you have this box with their logo embossed a, a very interesting pattern on there you open it up and it's nice cushion felt lined and the pen would be in there like that to cushion it little pillow top and you can see you know the printing is crisp I also noticed on the very back of the box, uh, this actually says made in China on it, stamped in there, very, very small. It's very hard to read, but, but it's there. And um, that's a legit box from Mont Blanc. Now, the one that my picks, I just bought this picks pin, right? Again, you have some of this writing here on the box. You'll, this has a different little tag on there, but it'll show you, it just says made in Germany and it has the, the, uh, the, the model number on it. Open the box. Okay, you got a little bit of a different book here. And I hope I didn't switch it, this book by accident with the other one, but, but um, this one again, you have the little made in China stamp there. Uh, same interior. Okay. Now, every Mont Blanc pen pretty much that I've ever had, I've inspected and it has a serial number on it. And so, uh, you know, I can show you some of those, like on this one, it's, it's laser engraved right here on the tip. Uh, on this one here, um, it's very, very tiny. It's, it's right in here on the clip. On these units, um, you'll find them, you know, around the edges here. So, I got this Marilyn Monroe Muse Rollerball, and here's the box that it came in. Now, no stickers, no barcodes, no recyclable thing on it. But the, the same, it's not exactly the same. When I look at the two of them, the color is just a slight bit more cream. Just a tiny, tiny bit, right? But otherwise, the exact dimensions. But the color is just, you know, when I look at these other two, all right, I mean, mm. all right. Now, the other thing is, um, oh, now this is interesting, okay. I didn't notice this before. So when I open this up, there is like a recycle thing here in this flap. That's interesting. So maybe this is, you know, I'm not 100% sure this isn't a real box. You know, this box is very legitimate. You know what? Does not have the made in China stamp on the back. Is it somewhere else? Hmm. And the inside looks fairly legitimate, just like the other. Um, you know, let me uh, open, let me open this most recent one that was the PIX. That's the most recent one that I got. You know, you got the, the, the same, same kind of book.
Hmm. I mean, it just could, it could be some slight inconsistency, but the one with the picks one, the texture seems to, to be just a little bit more th pronounced. You see in the light there? I wonder if the pages are exactly the same. You know? That's, you know, so far so good. And the printing looks to be the same. Looking at the material, the one with the Pix box looks just a little bit more cream than this one. See the color indifference there? So, you know, I, and definitely the, the Mont Blanc logo just seems to be a little bit more pronounced. It's gonna be hard for you to see there. But this is where it gets interesting. Now, here we go. I've made you wait all this time. This is my, uh, the Marilyn Monroe Muse pen. Now, it's a nice, deep, rich red. You've got this pearl on the end. You've got, you know, the, the uh, mountain on the top. And all of these details. So I'm gonna to have to show you close-ups of that. It unscrews, and there's your writing area. Now you can cap this if you really want to. And this portion comes out, and that appears to be a legitimate Mont Blanc rollerball refill. It unscrews. Um, if this is a fake, my God, what a great amount of effort to be put into this pen. But here is the problem. There should be, right here, laser engraved serial number. Okay? And there is not. Also... The arc of this seems a little bit more pronounced than it should be. It should go a little straight down a little bit more. It's got a little bit too much of an arc. But those are the only inconsistencies I can find on this pin, with the exception of this box. This thing should have come in a big box like that, sitting diagonally in the box, all right? Should have been in a big box, not this box. And it could be this is a real Mont Blanc box. I don't know. But I'm thinking not. I'm thinking that some very sophisticated fakers. See, probably they're making a whole bunch of other Mont Blanc pens. And this is the box that they just put all of them in. And it has no markings on it because they just use it for all of their stuff. They're, they're going through the effort of actually printing this little book. And going through the effort of making this box and, and everything. Because... They're selling these pens for, you know, hundreds of dollars when really, how much does it really cost to make this stuff if you have the ability to make it? And this is a fine crafted, I mean, it's, from what I can tell, every bit as good as the original. But, you know, quality wise, quality wise, I can't find a flaw. But it doesn't have the serial number. There's no way that Mont Blanc put this thing out without the laser engraved serial number on it. Every pen they put out has a laser engraved serial number on it. And this thing doesn't. It, I've searched everywhere. And I know where it's supposed to be. And it isn't there. And I've completely disassembled the unit. And it just isn't there. See, that, that flip is a little tight. It doesn't want to... Okay. See, it's 
See, that's a bit of a problem. See, this thing is the one I normally carry, and it's designed, it goes right in there. See, it's got that nice firm click when you take it in and out. See? That one has a little one, but it's there. And that, that alone, right? So this has not been, this is not designed right, see? This is this arc and it's pointed in too much, right? Whereas it should be more straight down and this should be a little softer. And that's why it won't go in. You can't, you can't get it to go in, it snags. That right there is an indication because the ergonomic feel of the writing instrument is what Mont Blanc cares about. Luckily, I only paid about a hundred bucks for this thing, only. Didn't pay full price, but it's a fake. It's a really good fake, and you wouldn't think that they would bother faking a special edition pen like that. Like, this isn't one of their more popular pens. How many of these are they gonna sell? But, apparently it was worth it, because they did it, and it's amazing quality. Really amazing quality, and it's fake. I got duped. And I was so impressed, I was like, oh wow, the familiar box that I'm used to seeing. If you didn't know what box this was supposed to come in, you would be like, wow. And if you didn't already have a bunch of these laying around from all the other pens and nothing to compare it to, you would absolutely believe that you just got the deal of a century and that you just got a real Mont Blanc, Marilyn Monroe, Muse, rollerball pen for only a hundred bucks. Uh, but I just wanted to share with you my experience Getting ripped off for this Mont Blanc Muse series, Marilyn Monroe Rollerball Pen. All right, so I couldn't stand it anymore. I came down here to North Park Mall in Dallas to the Mont Blanc store to see the real writing instrument, the Marilyn Monroe. Learned some amazing things. Now, due to their company policy, I'm not allowed to record and film into the store. But I was allowed to take a couple of photos. Now, some of the things I learned is this little pearl is much darker. It's a more silvery color. This gold is not this yellow. It's a much wider, shinier, glossier gold. Also, the clip is, is springy. It's tempered metal. Um, and there should be a serial number here. Also, the cartridge that's in this it's just like a Parker cartridge that's been relabeled as a Mont Blanc. The one that goes in there is about a third the size of this one. It takes a little short uh, roller bowl car cartridge, not this one. Also, the color is a richer, more vibrant red, like lipstick. This one is a little darker, um, but the yellowish gold really when compared to the white gold on the other one is, is not even close. But here's something that I learned that I didn't know and maybe people who've purchased writing instruments uh, from Mont Blanc uh, know that when you buy anything from them that's serial numbered, before you leave the store, they write down and document the serial number on a page inside the back of the booklet that comes with your instrument and it is registered right then and there to you from that moment on before you leave the store therefore you cannot buy a new Mont Blanc pen from someone other than a dealer unless it's secondhand or have, has been processed because it just doesn't make any sense. If, if, if someone sends you a, a new instrument and it has an unfilled out card, now if the card's missing from the back of the booklet, well then somebody else has already owned it and that's been torn out because they fill that out and tear it out and submit it at the store before it leaves the store. So how would you even get one without that page? So that's something very important that I learned. This thing, El Faco. And um, it's very impressive construction. 
but they pointed out to me like for instance I took the the cap off and this whole clip is held on with a flathead brass screw that's not how the original is inside it has some other kind of special uh, fastener but it's not a screw um, and like I said the cartridge that goes in this is not the cartridge that goes in the Marilyn Monroe it uses a little short little roller ball shortened cartridge um, and the presentation box is a big large white box and it's presented diagonally in there it comes with a big thick booklet with her picture on it uh, and that's true whether or not it's the twist the roller ball or the fountain pen so um, I just learned a lot uh, our, our guy Justin in here educated me on everything spent probably an hour with me and fantastic so so disappointed that this one isn't real gonna be sending this back and filing a complaint with the guy for selling me counterfeit goods and uh, I'm gonna have to decide whether or not I want to pick up one of the real ones but anyway if I do that and if you do that you really need to buy it from the store so unless you're picking up one that secondhand maybe at a show trade show pawn shop or something make sure that the page is missing out of the back the registration page that it's torn out make sure you can check the serial number and just be confident but that doesn't ensure that you're getting a real Mont Blanc really when it comes down to it at the end of the day the only real way to get a real one is at the store hey thanks for watching this video i hope you learned something just like i did today and if this is the kind of stuff you like subscribe you never know it might be something you like to watch thanks for watching video bob <laughs>